and this one is redwood mist redwood mist and they come in they come in little one ounce bottles now it looks like I'm trying to remember the notes on this that I read see if they're on the bottle so the ingredients are So the ingredients are organic sugar cane alcohol and steam distilled essential oils. So, and it's not saying the, the notes. I'm going to have to look them up. But yeah. So that is... This camera has no autofocus whatsoever. Either that or it's just lighting because I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. So I just record these things. But we're going to go ahead and see what. That smells all natural, all right. Spray for y'all. Spray for me. it sits as it sits in the air it's getting bitter now let's see what it'll smell like on my skin now y'all know normally I don't spray on the skin I do sometimes but skin I didn't like it as it sits I'm liking it more it's getting like a cleaner kind of woodsy smell so it's all right it's not as good as I was wanting but yeah like I said the longer each few seconds it smells better on my skin. Yeah, so, hold on, we're gonna look at the notes. Okay, so, the notes are fog-drenched forest, fresh rain, and crisp coastal air. And it's a general, it's a gender-neutral fragrance. Our redwoods, our redwood mist, essential oil, combined combines with organic sugarcane alcohol to form this personal scent that invokes the mist-covered redwood forest of Northern California. The redwood mist cologne is our ode to one of the quintessential California landscapes, where some of the world's tallest trees meet the Pacific Ocean and the fog travels through the evergreen canopy over amber-colored forest floors. When you can't get out there, bring nature home. That's what it says. So. Yeah, the longer, the longer it sits, the more I like it. And you can tell, you can tell it's all natural. So, like, just the same way you can tell when something smells really synthetic. This smells more woodsy earthy, airy, it, more natural, woodsy, airy, earthy, so, yeah, but this one is, if it'll focus, Juniper Ridge, Redwood Mist, so, okay, now, we're gonna go on to the next one, I don't know what the next one is yet, though, Another organic 
take sugar cane alcohol and steam distilled essential oils. So, and like I said, this one's desert cedar. So, I'm gonna let y'all. Well, first, we're gonna. First, we're gonna hit up the coffee. like that at all. Yeah, 
has a menthol, it has a cooling effect. Uh, um, it has a cooling effect. Kind of a lemon, kind of a urinal cake smell, and kind of at very first it's fading away now, but and that could just be how it's reacting on me too. But another smell that it had at first still kind of has it. I don't like it. Um. ever went into the bath uh, into a public bathroom or whatever and piss has been sitting in a toilet and it smet and it just stinks like old piss I guess that's what it smelled like at first but that faded away now it just has like a like a like a lemony kind of smell so we're gonna look up the notes to that too and that is white sage I was really expecting a lot better so white sage says the same thing as far as notes thick resin dusty leather sun-baked wood that and then it says um this product is made with 100% cultivated white sage from a family operated farm in Mexico. 10% of sales of our white sage and sweetgrass products are donated to indigenous and First Nation groups. We began this initiative in 2019 and have committed to maintain it in perpetuity. So, yeah, this could be... This could be good if it was layered with the right thing. But just this one by itself, at least on me, I do not like at all. <sighs> yeah, I don't like this. White Sage, to me, is a no-go. I would definitely... I'm not going to wear that at all. So, that sucks because a uh, portion of their sales go to the uh, indigenous and First Nation groups. So, it sucks they're using, they're using it for a good cause. But Okay, so I went ahead and took this one out. So, this one is the Coastal Pine. The Coastal Pine. Yeah, that one. The white sage doesn't smell anywhere near as bad now. But it's fading. It's fading off my skin really fast just like the just like the first one did. And the other one's fading now too. It's got like a clay and dirt and wood smell to it. Yeah, these are fading off me really fast. So what I might do is I might get some essential oils and mix with these and see what I can come up with with these. So, because I am not a fan so far. Who's that one? That one. It smells like a... It smells like a mossy forest floor. Sits. Yeah. So let's see what the coastal pine is. What the notes to the coastal pine are. So the sticky pine needles, citrusy conifer, and crisp ocean air. Yeah, and I can I 
I guess. I can smell the the the, the ocean air and the pine needles. But at first, like I said, it smelled like a it smelled like a mossy forest floor. So and I don't know if you've ever been in the woods or anything like that. I used to play in the woods when I was a kid. Um, like early teenager, stuff like that. Now, yeah, see, they're all fading. That's still there. Not, not all that strong, though. Yeah, they're all fading really fast. I don't like that they're fading really fast because 35 and 35 is 70. And then 70 and 70 is 140. So $140 for four ounces. And this shit's fading off. And I'm not really, I'm not really happy with any of the scents. So, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly very let down. And it's a good thing I didn't spend the 140 all at once. I can pay it over time with Shop Bay. So, but yeah, I am not happy with these at all. I mean, a couple of them are all right, but as far as them fading so fast, I don't like that. Yeah, like Redwood Mid, uh, Desert Cedar, and the Coastal Pine that I just sprayed together. It smells almost like something's burnt. So, but yeah, I don't rate these high at all. I don't really care for them at all. So, but I'm going to get off here, y'all. Go ahead and get to this doctor and everything, and... Damn, this sucks, man. This really sucks. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing my uh, I'm gonna be doing my weekly video, my weekly wearing. And I did a lot of layering this week. So, if you follow my Instagram, you you'll see that I did a decent amount of layering this past week. But yeah, so I'm gonna get off here, y'all, and go to the doctor and all that. I will see y'all tomorrow. Y'all take it easy and peace. Peace, peace.